Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, yeah, <laughs> um, I'm so excited to be here today. I don't know why, but I am. Anyways, um, thanks for clicking on the video. So as you can probably tell by the title, I'm going to be doing a video on how I get this look, which is pretty much um a cranberry eye <laughs> look. It's just reddish tones that I did using uh, the BH Cosmetics day. The BH Cosmetics, I had it upside down. The BH Cosmetics uh, Day to Night Palette. This palette has 60 eyeshadow colors, um, which pretty much looks like this. I've actually had this palette now for a while, and I tend to use it a lot and never did a video using it, so I figured I'd do one today. Um, I'm super excited about how this look turns out. I actually tried to film it before if you guys follow me on Snapchat. You would have seen that I actually tried to film the video and I got halfway done and then the camera just stopped on me and I had no idea. So literally I was just up to the end. I'm like, oh thanks guys or whatever. And then I realized the camera wasn't filming. So yeah. But anyways, I'm so happy that I was finally able to get the video done and that I was get to post this video finally so i hope that you guys like it if you do like it please don't forget to leave me a thumbs up or any questions or comments i will be leaving all the link uh i will be leaving all the products <laughs> that i use down below um in the description area and i will also be leaving uh all my social media accounts such as facebook instagram uh twitter and snapchat so please don't forget to follow me on those social medias as well to keep up with me and yeah guys so i hope you guys like the videos bye <laughs> okay guys so i have filled in my eyebrows already i'm gonna start by priming my eyes i'm gonna use the mac prep and prime highlighter um this is in the color um light boost which has a yellow undertone um i do love this primer because it really makes my eyeshadow wear very well throughout the day so i have applied the primer i just blend everything out using a damp beauty blender Okay, so for this look, I will be applying scotch tape to the corners of my eyes. And this is a great trick whenever you want to prevent any fallout. Okay, so for this look, I'll be using the BH Cosmetics Day Tonight Eyeshadow Palette. And I'm just going to take that very dark uh, burgundy-ish color. And I'm going to apply that to the corners of my eye. Now for this, I do like to take a small brush um, just to apply that to the corners of my eyes because it's going to be more precise. And it's going to give me the exact look that I want. Now once I'm done doing that, then I take a buff brush and I buff it in there. Now I do like to spray that with Fix Plus just so that the color could come a little bit more intense. Okay, so whenever you're using dark colors like this, I do recommend always doing your eyes first before applying any foundation. Just to prevent any fallout. Um, right here, as you can see, I'm just blending everything out just to make sure that everything looks nice and smooth. Now once I'm done doing that, I do like to take that very white color, spray it with Fix Plus and apply that to the inner corners of my eye. Now that's just of course going to give it that dimension so that it's not one flat color. So now you're pretty much going to see me just going back and forth and repeating the same steps and all I'm really doing here is just making the colors pop a little bit more so that they look a little bit more intense. So of course, once I'm done, I'm just going to be removing the scotch tape from my eye. And then I'm just going to go ahead and continue to do the same thing to the other eye. Okay, so once I'm done applying my eyeshadow, I will be doing um, my eyeliner. I use the Wet n Wild H2O Proof um, Liquid Liner. Now, the eyeliner, the way I'm doing it today, I'm not going to do my full eye. I'm just going to draw a half wing liner, which is just going to pretty much be half of my eyes. Just because I really want the eyeshadow color to pop a little bit more. Since my eyes are so small when I do a full liner, I find that it just takes away from my eyes.
Okay, so to finish off with my eyes, I'm just gonna apply some mascara. I'm using the Benefit Cosmetics Their Real Mascara, and of course, this is the shade black. Okay, so once I'm done applying my mascara, I'm just gonna apply some foundation. I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. This is the matte poreless foundation in the shade 228, which is soft tan. This foundation is a uh, great. It lasts um, long throughout the day and is a matte finish so I don't have to worry about looking oily so I love this foundation um, for everyday wear okay so to highlight and conceal I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me concealer this is the shade 15 which is fair clear and I just um, conceal under my eyes the bridge of my nose my forehead under my lip and over my lip and then I just blend everything out using a damp beauty blender So once I have finished blending out my concealer, I'm going to go ahead and set it. I'm going to use the Bare Minerals um, Original Mineral mineral <laughs> Veil to set my concealer. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply that everywhere that I applied the concealer. And that's just pretty much going to set it so it doesn't go anywhere throughout the day. Um, then I'm just going to go ahead and contour using the Anastasia Beverly Hill Contour Palette. Um, and of course I'm just going to contour my cheekbones, my jawline my forehead and my nose and of course as if I haven't said it enough the fluff brush from BH Cosmetics has changed my life when it comes to contouring my nose it is the best and here I'm just pretty much using a powder brush just to pretty much dust off the excess powder And for blush, I'll be using the BH Cosmetics Professional Blush 10 Color uh, Palette. And I'm just going to take that very neutral uh, tone blush and just apply it to my cheeks. And then I'm just going to go over uh, my bottom lashes with some mascara. And lastly for my lips, I'll be using the Bare Minerals Marvelous Moxie Lip Gloss. This is the shade uh, Live Wire, which is just a very uh, pretty pink. Alright guys, so thank you so much for watching this video. That'll be it for today. I hope you guys like it. Uh, once again, please don't forget to show me a question or comment if you have any. And please don't forget to subscribe. Bye guys!